Hello everyone. The genetic engineer needs to cut and join DNA from different sources to produce recombinant DNA. In addition, certain modifications may have to be carried out in DNA during the steps required to produce, clone and identify recombinant DNA molecules. The tools that enable these manipulations to be performed are enzymes, which are purified from a wide range of organisms and can be bought from various suppliers. In this module, we will study some of the important classes of enzymes that make up the genetic engineer's toolkit. The learning objectives are to study some of the tools used for introducing a new gene into a plant to make transgenic plants. These include enzymes like restriction enzymes, ligases, alkaline phosphatases, polynucleotide kinases and topoisomerases. Restriction enzymes are one of the essential tools of genetic engineering which are used to make recombinant DNA. Purified forms of these naturally occurring bacterial enzymes are used as molecular scissors allowing genetic engineers to cut up DNA at precise sites. Restriction enzymes are used to cut DNA molecules at specific recognition sequences of 4 to 8 base pairs which are palindromic. That is, they have the same sequence in an opposite orientation on the two strands. There are three classes of restriction enzymes which differ in the site of cleavage with reference to the recognition sequence. Type 2 restriction enzymes cleave the DNA within the recognition site and are used widely in genetic engineering. Over 3000 type 2 restriction enzymes with known recognition sequences are commercially available. Restriction enzymes require magnesium as a cofactor and a specific pH and salt concentration for their activity. The enzymes may cleave DNA at exactly opposite locations on the two strands to produce blunt ended fragments with 5 prime phosphate and 3 prime OH ends or cleavage is offset by 1 to 4 bases leaving either a 3 prime overhang or a 5 prime overhang with a single strand yields a sticky end. 3 prime overhangs arise due to asymmetrical cuts made by the enzyme towards the 3 prime end of the recognition sequence while 5 prime overhangs arise from an asymmetrical cut made towards the 5 prime end of the recognition sequence. Fragments with sticky ends are easier to join because of complementary base pairing that can occur between two DNA molecules having the same overhangs. Restriction enzymes bind to double stranded DNA at the specific recognition sequence and cut the phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides on each strand. The mechanism involves a nucleophilic attack by OH on the phosphorus in the phosphodiester bond, making the phosphorus carry an extra negative charge in a transition state, which is then passed to magnesium ion to stabilize the 3 prime O and finally to a proton to form OH. Ligases are used to covalently link or ligate fragments of DNA. In genetic engineering, they are commonly used to ligate a fragment of DNA, usually the gene of interest into a plasmid vector, which is an important step in generating recombinant DNA molecules. Most ligases join breaks in each single strand. The optimum temperature for T4 DNA ligase activity is 37 degrees centigrade, which is used for ligation of blunt ended fragments. However, Sticky ends are too short to form a stable duplex at this temperature, so the reaction is carried out at a lower temperature. Ligases bind to double stranded DNA and join the cut ends of each single strand by forming a phosphodiester bond between the 5 prime phosphate and one nucleotide and the 3 prime hydroxyl group of the second nucleotide. The enzyme first binds to the two strands of DNA at the site of the cut. It then hydrolyzes ATP to form an AMP adduct at the 5 prime phosphate end of the cut DNA molecule. Finally, the free OH group at the end of the other strand makes a nucleophilic attack on the AMP and replaces it to seal the DNA by reformation of the phosphodiester bond. There are two classes of DNA ligases which differ in the cofactor used. The T4 ligase uses ATP while E. coli ligase use NAD plus as the donor of the adenylyl group. The enzyme alkaline phosphatase removes the phosphate group from the 5 prime end of a DNA molecule, leaving a free 5 prime hydroxyl group at that position on the nucleotide. 
It is used to prevent unwanted self ligation of vector DNA molecules in cloning procedures. These enzymes are most active at alkaline pH, hence the name. Alkaline phosphatase enzyme is isolated from bacteria or calf intestine. The bacterial alkaline phosphatase is more active as compared to the calf intestine one, but it is often difficult to inactivate it at the end of the dephosphorylation reaction. On the other hand, the calf alkaline phosphatase can be inactivated by adding a protease or by heating the reaction mixture. Alkaline phosphatase is used in cloning. The vector molecule is treated with the alkaline phosphatase where 5 prime P is removed to leave 5 prime OH and no self ligation is possible. The DNA that is to be cloned is inserted in this vector. When these two types of DNA molecules are mixed and DNA ligase is added, the 5 prime P of insert DNA is ligated to the 3 prime OH of vector DNA. The DNA repair enzymes then form the phosphodiester bond on the other strand by using a polynucleotide kinase. Polynucleotide kinase is an enzyme that catalyzes the transfer of a phosphate from ATP to the 5 prime end of either DNA or RNA. The enzymatic activity of polynucleotide kinase is utilized in two types of reactions which is shown in the figure. In the forward reaction, Polynucleotide kinase transfers the gamma phosphate from ATP to the 5 prime end of a polynucleotide which can be DNA or RNA. The target nucleotide is lacking a 5 prime phosphate either because it has been dephosphorylated or has been synthesized chemically. In the exchange reaction, target DNA or RNA that has a 5 prime phosphate is incubated with an excess of ADP in this setting. Polynucleotide kinase will first transfer the phosphate from the nucleic acid onto an ADP forming ATP and leaving dephosphorylated target. Polynucleotide kinase will then perform a forward reaction and transfer a phosphate from ATP onto the target nucleic acid. The DNA polymerases are used for a number of applications in genetic engineering. The bacterial DNA pol one is used to remove 3 prime overhangs from DNA fragments produced by restriction digestion or to fill in the overhangs generated by restriction enzymes. For the latter, only the large fragment of DNA polymerase called Leno fragment is used along with DNTPs since the 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity associated with DNA pole 1 will remove the overhangs instead of synthesizing the second strand. TAC polymerase is a DNA polymerase isolated from the thermophilic bacteria Thermus aquaticus. The optimum temperature for its activity is 75 to 80 degrees centigrade. When the enzyme is used along with DNTPs, primers and a template DNA, the enzyme synthesizes DNA. Using a cyclic variation in temperature as for example 95 degrees centigrade, 55 degrees centigrade and 72 degrees centigrade for a few seconds each which causes denaturation, annealing of primers and primer extension respectively. TAC polymerase brings about exponential amplification of target region. The amplified DNA products have adenine overhangs at their 3 prime ends due to the deoxynucleotidal activity also shown by this enzyme. The A overhangs are made use of in TA cloning in which the cloning vector like PGMT which has thymine overhangs base pairs with A overhang of the product. Hence, the amplified DNA fragment can be cloned into the vector by using a DNA ligase. One of TAC's drawback is its lack of 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease proofreading activity, resulting in relatively low replication fidelity. Originally, its error rate was measured at about 1 in 9000 nucleotides. The remaining two domains act in coordination via coupled domain motion. Some thermostable DNA polymerases have been isolated from other thermophilic bacteria and archaea such as PFU DNA polymerase, possessing a proofreading activity and are being used instead of or in combination with TAC for high fidelity amplification. An application of polynucleotide kinase and Leno polymerase is to label DNA at the 5 prime end. 
This is important in preparing probes used for detecting a specific gene in transgenic plants. Gamma labeled ATP is used with polynucleotide kinase and the labeled phosphate is transferred to the 5 prime end of DNA. Leno enzymes which are used for end filling of overhangs created by restriction enzyme digestion can also be used for making labeled probes. In this case, the alpha phosphate in ATP is labeled which is inserted into the DNA as AMP during DNA synthesis. Type 1 topoisomerases are present in bacteria. They play a role in changing the topology of circular DNA. By cutting a single strand of DNA, passing the other strand through it and rejoining the cut ends, they relax supercoil plasmids. Due to the restriction and ligase activities in topoisomerases, they are used in cloning DNA into a plasmid vector. The topo vectors have a topo isomerase 1 conjugated to 3 prime ends of the topo isomerase recognition sites. When blunt ended DNA fragment is added to this vector, the fragment is inserted between the two topo isomerase recognition sites. The module can be summarized as gene cloning is an important step in genetic engineering and involves generation of recombinant DNA and its multiplication in a suitable vector. A number of enzymes are used in this process. Restriction enzymes are used to isolate the gene of interest or to generate DNA with known ends. Ligases enable insertion of DNA fragments corresponding to the gene of interest to be inserted into a vector. Alkaline phosphatase and polynucleotide kinases are used to prevent self ligation of the DNA fragments, thus improving the efficiency of recombinant DNA preparation. DNA polymerases are used either for preparing blunt ended DNA fragments or to amplify the DNA fragments by polymerase chain reaction. Topoisomerases are used in a single step cloning procedure because of their ability to restrict as well as ligate DNA. These tools are important for successfully producing recombinant DNA that is used in genetic transformation of plants. Thank you.